Hey, I'm NASA Kennedy's Juan Calero taking you inside KSC. The maiden voyage of NASA's new space launch system rocket came one step closer with the March 8th arrival of the mission's first integrated piece of flight hardware. The Interim Cryogenic Propulsion Stage, or ICPS, traveled aboard the United Launch Alliance Mariner ship from the company's facility in Decatur, Alabama to Port Canaveral. That's where it was offloaded and taken to the Horizontal Integration Facility at nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The ICPS will be installed near the top of the SLS rocket and will provide propulsion while the vehicle is in space during next year's Exploration Mission 1. In a preview of future landings, a flight-sized boilerplate of Boeing's CST-100 Starliner spacecraft touched down during a parachute test in late February. The Starliner was lifted to an altitude of 40,000 feet. It was released from a 1.3 million cubic foot balloon descending under three main parachutes that touched down at the Army's White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. This is one of a series of tests to prove the parachute design. Boeing is developing the Starliner to take astronauts to and from the International Space Station in partnership with NASA's commercial crew program. And remember, Spaceport Magazine digs deeper inside KSC.